Guys, I am sitting in the Orange Theory parking lot with a cup of coffee, which might not seem like a big deal, but it is actually a momentous occasion. And I'm gonna give you all the details. Well, maybe some of the details, but if I don't get my butt out of the car and into the studio, I am going to be late. And I already have a feeling like there's a ton of spots taken, but grabbing my heart rate monitor, grabbing my Orange Land card if you're an Orange Theory person, and I'm gonna hit stop and go to class. my first workout in a week and it felt really good although I feel like it was like definitely obvious that I have not worked out in a week um so yeah basically spent the entire week no coffee no working out um it was like a Saturday afternoon I started to feel off and then I came down with what I thought was just like a stomach bug you know just typical symptoms spent all of Easter on the couch. Um, and then like the next day I thought I was feeling better, started slowly eating, eating more than like toast. And then all of a sudden, like my symptoms like became worse again. And I was just trying to like think, okay, I'll wake up the next morning and feel better. I'll wake up. God, what is going on? I feel like something's poking me. And finally, I just got to the point where Mark's like, you have got to go to the doctor because like just the way like the GI symptoms coupled with like almost no appetite <clears throat> it just felt like it had gone on too long and the doctor agreed they didn't think it was just like gastroenteritis or whatever and so I had to do blood work and some other tests and it might have shown like my blood work might have shown signs of pancreatitis which according to my medical research and medical knowledge aka google um Acute cases of pancreatitis can clear up on their own within a week or two. Um, but the doctor did want me to schedule a CT scan with contrast to see if my pancreas is inflamed. So that's awesome. Um, but we're just like keeping things slow. I'm not going to go eat like a steak dinner. Uh, I'm not going to go run a half marathon. Um, just going to listen to my body. Um, try to enjoy drinking coffee because literally all I ate for the past week was white toast, dry bagels, and Diet Coke. Um, I took the boys out for ice cream. Didn't want any. Um, like the th I would smell food and just instantly get sick to my stomach. So totally not fun. Totally, totally not fun. And because of the swelling and inflammation, like that was one of the issues was bloating, swelling, inflammation that made them think it could be something not just like gastroenteritis, whatever it is. Don't, don't come at me if I'm saying that wrong. Um, I'm barely thinking, look at this face. Like, oh my gosh, looks like I've been out in the sun and I haven't. I'm still like experiencing like some swelling and bloating, whatever. That's enough information for you all. I'm going to change my shirt and go into Target because that sounds like an amazing idea. targets and I thought I'd show you what I got some of it's kind of cool some of it's like not that exciting um but nonetheless I got a couple of the Celsius energy drinks these are actually not for me I feel like everybody in my life including myself has a birthday in April and so my co-workers birthday is this month and I'm going to just put together like a little gift bag. So I'm going to put some energy drinks, like some snacks, like just fun stuff. This sounded good though. Mango, passion fruit. And then I got 
the tropical vibe and then the peach vibe for her. Another friend I needed to finish off her birthday package, so I picked up the Godiva birthday cake truffles. Let's see. Um, I know I got another birthday thing in here, but we'll have to look. I picked up a couple clothing items. This is just like a little undershirt thing situation with a built-in shelf bra. I needed to go under some things. Crap tops are great. Um, but if you go like this, and then show your coworkers this, it's not so good. So, uh, I also got this gorgeous orange, like crop tank situation with the built-in bra. I went to the Lululemon in Scottsdale. I was in Phoenix for work the first week, like spring break week. And we had to go to Lululemon for work, like legitimately, like I'm not even joking. And so I was trying to focus on everything, but they had, these like tanks, shorts, and this gorgeous orange color. And I'm like kicking myself that I just didn't like throw caution to the wind and just like dump a ton of money because I totally regret not buying some things. But this feels like a more like economical choice. So this was $20 and it'll be good for like orange theory. Uh, I have been kind of like craving turkey sandwiches it's like one of the first things i wanted to eat with like my whole like stomach potential pancreatitis situation so i got the low fat reduced fat provolone i also purchased the dave's killer bread sprouted whole grains 70 calorie thin sliced bread this peanut butter was on clearance and i think we were running low on peanut butter so i did that just throw them bags on the ground. <clears throat> Some cold brew coffee. And then, I couldn't not do it. This marshmallow whipped cream. It just intrigued me. Intrigued me. Oh, here's the little other birthday item. Just a little nail polish. Sometimes I like just giving little fun stuff. Then, the boys' baseball season has started. And Miles requested this Gatorade bottle that you, you put pods in. And I looked at them. The pods, one, are not more economical. I was going to consider it if it was like a cheaper situation or like better for the environment. But one, the bottle was $20. And then the pods are $8 for four. I might as well just buy a real Gatorade. But these were, I think, six bucks. They can put water in them, whatever. And then I did get... Some turkey just to make like a low, low key turkey sandwich. So I think that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm actually hungry, which is honestly like one of the greatest feelings in the world because there are a couple days where like I, one day I just didn't eat dinner. And like the, a couple of times, why are all the cabinets open? Like, so look at this. Like I come home and all of like my cabinets are open. I'm blaming my, my, my children. I'm hoping it's the children and not Mark. idea on the planet this tank that I was so excited about it's a nursing tank a nursing tank that ship has sailed people that ship has sailed it's going back to Target so while I was eating my lunch I did something that I said I wouldn't do and I've said for months that I wasn't going to do this which was I put in an application for that dog It's my birthday weekend. He can't tell me no. <laughs> oh, yes, I can. You didn't say no. I didn't. I said maybe. So I have said for months, ever since we had to say goodbye to Denali, that no dogs, no extra. I mean, we have Yeti, so no second dog. I didn't want a second dog. We've enjoyed having just one dog. Um, 
she provides enough hair um, for multiple dogs. Mm -hmm. um, she is really chill. As long as she gets exercise, like I can work from home, like there's no drama, like nothing. It's nice, right? Yes. But then my friend shared this Facebook post um, from the rescue where we got Yeti. So we got, she was a breeder release. They thought she had a heart problem. I don't think there's anything wrong with her heart. And it was a Bernadoo, which ranks high on the list of dogs that I would like pick. Okay. <laughs> Mark's like, okay. So it's a Bernese mountain dog, Poodle Mix. He is six months old. His name is Mac. Now there's no guarantee that they'll approve our application or like we'll make the list. Like I'm putting this, this sounds real cheesy. I'm putting it in God's hands. If we're supposed to have this dog, but he's so cute. Can I put out a suggestion? I was thinking about this name and it's so cool that his name is Mac. If we're going to get it, I want to change it to Bernie. Mac. And it's Bernie Mac. Um, See, he's already, he said, I didn't say yes. But he's already thinking about it. Well, it's a Bernie's, right? Bernie, do it. Bernie. But I was also thinking about Big Mac. Yeah, too much McDonald's reference. But Big Macs are my favorite. They are. Okay. So, um, comment down below if I'm a complete idiot for wanting a second dog and putting in this application. Uh, <laughs> or comment down below as to whether Mark should... Mark, don't pick your... Sorry. So... There's that. <laughs> that would be the new addition according to the title of this YouTube video. Like I said with my nursing tank discovery, we're happy as a family of four people. Whether we're happy as a family of four people in one dog is yet to be decided. Mm -hmm. What is Mark doing right now? I'm researching the breed. Research. But you, but you didn't say yes. I'm not saying yes, but we don't want to get them too excited because we just put the application in. It doesn't mean anything at this point. That means we're probably going to get it. So we're outside and it is too hot for this shirt. So I'm about to switch so I can hang out with the guys outside. Number one sweet heart of Moet is sleeping. after sitting out in the sun enjoying the weather it's time for a little iced coffee so we have the stoke stock cold brew unsweetened i found this zero sugar twix creamer oh, so good and then just a little bit of the tarani sugar-free s'more syrup and i did add a splash of non-fat milk we don't have any almond right now i'm just gonna i think i'm making iced coffee just to use this marshmallow whipped cream so i'm gonna put this on here you know the points will always vary based on how much you use. So, you know, your milk is probably one point, um, depending on how you count creamer. This is 20 calories per one tablespoon. So a two to three point iced coffee. Again, everybody has their own way of doing it, but my way of doing it is just drinking. 
So we decided it was too pretty just to hang out at home, but like we didn't want to do our usual and go to Target. Miles is like really disappointed. So we decided to go downtown Fort Wayne, um, grab a snack, um, do a little shopping, grab some dinner, maybe like go to like one of the coolest parks in Fort Wayne is just right down that way and maybe even get dessert. So like I'm not on like sticking to points today and I'm not ever like actually tracking because like the whole goal is to like just get back on track in terms of like being good to my body, like filling it with good stuff. Yes, bug. Um, but you know, just like not stressing. baked goods so we're doing an early dinner we got a couple wood fire pizzas some breadsticks i'm drinking water just and um i have a side of kisses oh. Try this, it's a uh, arugula bagudala. Um, here we go. It's called the Uga Buga. Um, I don't know. You don't know? I mean, it doesn't taste bad. I love it. It's not outstanding. Oh, dude, no, 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 no. We're at the set. We're at the set. Stand. Um, we're here for ice cream, and I'm gonna give Bud uh, a strawberry shake. We were trying to eat outside, but it's like 900 degrees. Actually, it's 80 degrees, but the music was so loud. However, I got a Snickers, a Wipeout, or like their version of a Blizzard. This is their kid size. I'm not, maybe eight ounces. Um, I'm very proud of myself because I have been splurging like one time a week and getting the medium. Mark's like nodding, but you can't actually see him in the frame. Um, but this is like my favorite. And this is my like birthday treat for the day. It's, come on, Mark. So, in the week leading up to my birthday, Mark has been like leaving me little gifts every day, like with sweet little text messages. So one of the gifts was a gift card to my favorite coffee shop, a gift card to my Starbucks. favorite- Starbucks. It's not Starbucks. Um, my favorite expensive overpriced smoothie shop, protein shake shop. And then there was a new lipstick, the Glossier Dewy Serum. So this was his surprise for today. And I don't really do birthday cake. Not really, no. But I do birthday ice cream. Mm -hmm. So, um, and it's funny because for as much as I try not to celebrate my birthday, Mark always goes so above and beyond. And so I always sound like the most annoying person talking about my birthday because he's so good about making like an event out of it. And I will note that we, she still got two days left. And like a real gift, right? Or yeah. no real gift. I know what it is. Well, they were all real gifts. Thank yeah, you very much. Yeah, I mean like real gifts. But these yeah. are like bigger things. Yes. Well, like yesterday, my surprise <laughs> gift was um, <clears throat> reflective of how I was feeling. It was Epsom salts, mm -hmm. Pedialyte, um, oven mitts, which is a joke because I kept asking him <laughs> for... Uh, I've admit for my birthday because we can't find any. And don't forget the spatulas. And like pancake turner spatulas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was my surprise yesterday. I really love the Pedialyte. Oh, he did get, also get me a Diet Coke. That's true. That's true. But she had got a six pack, so that upset me a little bit just prior to me. There's never enough Diet Cokes. So that's fine. 
All right, so we're going to eat our ice cream and go home. Well, happy Sunday. It is like 3 o'clock. I have done almost nothing today. I watched Next in Fashion on Netflix. I am working on this little crocheted um, dishcloth thing. I did like ex like get out some spring clothes, even though the weather is like horrendous, especially compared to yesterday. But kind of did like a little closet type organization, but just not anything insanely exciting. <laughs> Hence why it's three o'clock and I'm just now like starting to vlog. But I am about to run into Kroger. I'm going to get up, get up, stack up on some supplies. I realized that when I went grocery shopping on Friday because I wasn't feeling well, I didn't buy anything that like I could eat. I got everything that the kids needed, got everything that Mark needed. But because I wasn't eating, I didn't buy anything I could eat. So I need some produce, I need fruits, I need vegetables. I'm gonna kind of poke my head around. I have about 20 minutes and then I have to jet to the ball diamond to pick up Miles from his baseball practice. So that's kind of what's going on. I am debating on what to make for dinner tonight. I was sort of thinking sloppy joes, but that could be a really good weeknight meal. So Mark had suggested tomato soup because my birthday like lead up gift was actually like a really solid pick on Mark's part. It was a cast iron Dutch oven. I have been wanting a Dutch oven for a while now. I think I've been just kind of like influenced by all the beautiful enamel ones. And this is like a very hearty lodge cast iron, like take it camping, like make really great soup. So I think I'm gonna make some roasted tomato soup for dinner and the kids can have grilled cheese. Maybe I'll have a salad. This guy just saw me talking to myself because I got like this prime parking spot. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to run into Kroger, get what I need, and then like do the thing. So we are back and I'm going to show you my massive grocery haul. I picked up the Hidden Valley Light Ranch, 60 calories, two points. Um, living lettuce. This is butter lettuce. I like that lettuce a lot. Olive oil, this is for our roasted tomato soup. Some bananas. And then, oh. I picked, these were on like weekly special, the Campari tomatoes. Intensely sweet, aromatic, and juicy. I got two of those up for the roasted tomato soup. And then just some tomatoes for slicing. For the soup, I also got a shallot. And then for the grilled cheese sandwiches and whatever, avocado, duh. Duh, right, Miles? Yeah. Miles does not care. I bought approximately nine pounds of grapes. Like the bag is literally falling apart. Mark should be coming in with the rest of the groceries. Where, Mark, I need it. Okay, put the flowers I got two dozen white roses. Cue the Miley Cyrus video. They were $3 each. Flowers. I bought myself flowers. <laughs> They're looking like not perfect, but for $3 a dozen, I was like, I'll take it. Uh, unsweetened vanilla almond milk so I can put that in my iced coffee. Some baby arugula for some salads. We purchased, we, as in me and my multiple personalities, some white bread for the kids. Um, sandwiches. A comb for Mark. Mark, come get your comb. Because Mark said the kids keep stealing his. And then this is something like very unlike me. But I bought several frozen meals. I got the Healthy Choice Power Bowl Shiitake Chicken. That, I don't know points, but it's 310 calories. And then the Herb Roasted Chicken from Lean Cuisine. That's 180 calories, 18 grams of protein. I just like, I couldn't decide on the fly what I wanted to eat for lunch for this week. So I was like, that'll at least get me started. Some cheese for the grilled cheese. Um, I had a garlic, usually I use like the minced garlic in the jar, but for roasted tomato soup, as you'll see in a little bit, I'll do like everything in the new Dutch oven. And then just some body wash uh, because Silas cannot be trusted and like you keeps using my body wash. But I'm gonna put this stuff away, put the flowers in a vase, and then, um, then we'll start making some tomato soup. Tomato soup time. I don't know if there's a dance, so I would make it up. 
So here is the cast iron pan Dutch oven that Mark got for me because he's amazing. And this is the lid that like sits on top of here, but it's like a skillet too. It's like double duty, it's amazing. So on me, Mark, on me, stop showing off for the camera with what you did. Um, we're gonna make our roasted tomato soup. It's super simple. So we wash our Campari tomatoes, took off the greens. I cut up my shallot, peeled it, whatever. And then I have a handful of garlic that I peeled as well. So we're throwing that all in there. If I was on the Food Network, I would have pretty bowls. We're just gonna drizzle this with olive oil. And then we're gonna salt it. I put about like six cloves of garlic. I was tempted to do more, but I don't know how garlicky the kids will like it. But don't be scared of it because when you roast it, it gets really sweet and amazing. And I use shallots because it has a milder flavor compared to onions, which I think the kids will appreciate. So we're gonna roast this at 400 degrees, 45 minutes-ish. And then when it comes out, we'll throw it with some chicken broth and fat-free half and half in the blender. And that is it, my friends, that is it. So here's what that tomato soup looks like fresh out of the oven. The tomatoes are just kind of falling apart. You got a lot of their juices. So I'm gonna throw that in the food processor to just blend it all up and make it nice and velvety. Editing Kim here. I realized I never closed out that video. Um, I guess I was too tired and just like in a dreamlike state after that tomato soup. Now, the one mistake I kind of made from a Weight Watchers perspective is not really measuring and counting points. You know, fat-free half and half has points. You know, uh, roasting the tomatoes with olive oil. And so getting back on track, I'll have to kind of get back to, you know, measuring, weighing things. But Thank you so much for watching. If you got to this point, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, do something you love.